The following video is the first part of a two-part series on explicit intents in Android. The objectives are stated here with a timeline for when they appear in the video. In this video we're going to examine what intents are in terms of how they're used on activities. Intents can also can be used to start services and to send out a broadcast. We're only going to be focusing on them today when used for starting activities. It'd be helpful for this section if you went to the Android Developer Guide and browse the section on Intents and Intent Filters. You can safely ignore any reference to using Intents to start services and Intents to start broadcasts and focus just on the reading that has to do with starting activities. When we're looking at Intents, two of the large categories of Intents are Implicit Intents and Explicit Intents. Explicit intent says, I'm going to start something in motion and I'm going to explicitly state what I'm starting in motion. And for this, that's going to be activities. And implicit intent means, I need something done for me, but I don't really care who does it. Can anybody help me with this? And we'll take a closer look at that when we actually get into implicit intents. But for now, we're going to start with explicit intents. So far, all I've done is created a project called Intense Explicit Demo, building against API 10 2.3.3, and I've done absolutely no other work in preparation. So let's take a look at the simplest mode of using an intent to start an activity. I'm just going to come down to my layout folder, magnify that a little bit, and drag and drop a button on there. And let's just make it go match parent. Come in and just change the text here in XML view. And you see I'm getting that little artifact. I'm going to save and close and reopen. And that tends to just go away after doing that. And we'll call that BTN simple activity. And then we're going to wire up our on click event in the XML. and name it after the name of the button and the name of the event. Head on up to our activity now, which I meant to rename name. I'm not remembering to do that very often anymore. Let me just name that main activity. I could leave the name alone, but that's just a constant pattern I like to have. So we'll open up that main activity. And all we need to do is put our button click event in here. has to send in a view that we commonly call V, which of course is the reference to the button that actually invoked the button click event. Now, so right here is the code that we need to launch another activity. I have to hit Control Shift O to organize my imports to import view here. So what do we need? Well, we need another activity. I'm gonna intentionally make some errors and allow my code to blow up so you can see why we need to do some things that we need to do here. So just a little disclaimer, we're gonna be blowing things up at least once or twice today. Um, so if I ha I'm gonna make another activity called simple activity. How do we do that? Just click on our package and say we need a new class. I'm gonna call that class simple activity and say finish. And of course, something we know we need to do at a minimum is come in and say extends activity. And the other thing we know we need at a minimum is our onCreate method. I could copy and paste that in, but if I want to look at all the methods of activity I can override, we know we can go to source, override implement methods, and I could just cruise down and grab from there the onCreate method that I need. and that'll be stubbed in for me automatically. And then the next thing we're going to need for this is at least some kind of basic user interface. I'm calling this simple activity. When I had main activity, I called my XML file main. So if I'm calling this simple activity, I'll call its XML file that defines its user interface simple. Remembering that, you can only lowercase all of these file folders and file names. So we have to name that lowercase simple. I can click on that folder and say I want a new 
Android XML file and it notices that I was on the layout folder so it's automatically giving me some help in terms of layout and it's saying do you want to start with a linear layout and you're like yeah okay I'll start with a linear layout that sounds great that's an often a great layout manager to be the root node in our layout file and I'm just going to give that the name of simple so it matches the name of my activity and we can see it's already set to vertical to allow us to add things going down rather than add things going across. It's interesting to note that the default is horizontal. So if I don't set this node at all, I just leave it out, I'll have horizontal going. So for vertical, you have to add this line of code. So all I really want for this simple one is to come in and just grab a text view and say something like, arrived at simple activity. And maybe we want the font to be just a little larger. Take the text size and set it up to 25. Density independent pixels. So there we go. That's all this is going to do. Let's fix that letter there. Then we have to call from our main activity. We want to call our simple activity. We already put a button in our main activity. And we've wired that button up right here. So this is going to be the method that occurs when we click on that button. So we just want to go from one activity to another. And the way we do that is through what's called an intent object. And there's a method that we have. And if you go this dot, you can dot off there and see what's everything I can do because I am an activity. And one of the things you can see you can do is to do start activity. I can send in an intent object. I can come in here and go intent intent equals new intent and then put the proper thing in the constructor right here or I could just create it anonymously and put it right inside those bananas. But what I and I, I always call these bananas open close parenthesis I refer to as bananas quite commonly. Okay, so inside that intent object, when we're using the explicit model of using intents, 